First, a sinkhole in an apartment parking lot swallowed three cars early this morning. It was caused by a water main break owned by an apartment complex, and hundreds were forced from their homes. NBC 15 Sharon Yu has more on what's next for the residents in the apartment complex. It's not every day you see the underbelly of a car being pulled out from a 30 feet deep sinkhole. All this caused by a water main break early this morning. The parking lot here was flooded. The underground garage was flooded. That's what they're currently cleaning up. While the tow trucks work to pull the cars from the sludge this afternoon, residents who have been evacuated are waiting patiently to return to their homes. Two of the four buildings had all utilities turned off and residents need to find another place to stay. And what floor? Third floor. Robert Hansen and his wife are among 300 people waiting to retrieve their things for the night. Oh, our car is currently trapped in our underground garage under uh, a lot of sewage. Oh yes, we'll, we'll stay with uh, some relatives. And those who haven't found family or friends to stay with still need to find a place to go. Everybody can expect to um, be looking for alternate housing through the weekend. Um, what I was hearing is that it, it might be Tuesday at the earliest that building inspection can get in. The American Red Cross will be providing temporary shelter for those who need it. With the hot, humid weather, you know, it's much better if we can have air conditioning in a building. So that eliminates a couple of our options. And so we want, you know, people to be, you know, cool and comfortable. As for cleaning up damages and repairs, the regional property manager says sorting that out will take some time. Well, right now, like I said, we've got professionals here and we're going to take care of things, you know, and we'll figure out the technical responsibility later. But right now, Banner is, is getting things taken care of. In Madison, Sharon Yu, NBC 15 News. The Madison Fire Department arrived at the scene around 5 this morning. And they turned the scene over to property management and the American Red Cross around 3 this afternoon.